Hey guys, we're getting pretty close to the end of our time together here in Faithful Facts for Lent. But before that, we've got a few more people to study here. And one of those people is Pontius Pilate. And we're going to read John 19, 12, and 16 to get that little bit of scriptural background um, before we dive into the rest of our devotion. After this, Pilate sought to release him, but the Jews cried out, If you release this man, you are not Caesar's friend, for whoever makes himself a king becomes a traitor to Caesar. Then he handed him over to be crucified. Pilate was well aware that Jesus was innocent of any crime. This was a religious dispute. The prosecution tried to indict Jesus as a subversive rebel. When that failed, they unveiled a new charge. We have a law, and by that law, he ought to die, since he has made himself the son of God. This reinforced Pilate's decision to release Jesus. When did Rome care about a would-be prophet's wild claims? The prosecution warned, you are not Caesar's friend. Pilate could lose his membership in the elite Friends of Caesar's Club in Rome, which included senators and oversee governors. The prosecution could send a delegation to Rome complaining against Pilate for refusing to execute a guilty rebel. Tiberius Caesar, abandoning earlier anti-Semitism, listened to complaints against provincial governors. Pilate could lose his club membership, his position, and possibly even his life. He was already on probation because of the earlier Golden Shields episode reported by Philo when Antipas and his brothers accused Pilate of offending the Jews. Pilate first learned of it in Tiberius's angry letter. It was Jesus or or it was Jesus or himself, Pilate realized, and he opted to save himself. He was no hero, hero, yet the villain, yet not the villain. My goodness, let me start that paragraph over. It was Jesus or himself, Pilate realized, and he opted to save himself. He was no hero, yet not the villain often portrayed. He had exhausted every legal option available trying to save Jesus. Let's pray. Prevent us, suffering Savior, from blaming the Jews or Judas Iscariot, Pilate, or anyone else for what happened on Good Friday. It was our sins that led to your sacrifice, an exchange that we will fully understand only in heaven. In your living, dying, rising, and reigning name we pray, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, so just to give you a heads up, tomorrow it's going to be a Simon of Cyrene that we study. Hmm. Study a little bit up on that. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.